Hello YouTube, Nick here. Just going to be doing a quick comparison between the AK-47 with an attachment and with no attachment. A lot of people have realized by now that uh, adding an attachment does make the gun sway, where no attachment or a cog scope makes it have no sway. I'm just going to be doing a quick comparison between what the effect of this actually is. So first off here, I'm going to show you with no attachment, this is um, no attachment gun doesn't move with FMJ you can see there's a slight bit of sway um, every other assault rifle does not have this sway with attachments but uh, with the AK you get the sway here you can see side by side uh, now I'm just gonna be doing some uh, shots at the blocks here to see how the um, spread works it's just me holding the trigger aimed in holding the trigger not doing anything um, you can see them both together here and um, you can see that there's not a whole lot of difference there. Um, it seems to be kind of random. Um, another sh shot here, FMJ. Now no attachment. And um, I come up here and you can see that it's basically the same. It's kind of random really where the spread goes. Um, here again, this is me burst firing if I was trying to be as accurate as possible. Um, no attachment. Now FMJ. And you'll see that it's basically the same. Um, the, the spread, basically the same. So it doesn't really matter if you use an attachment. It doesn't make a whole lot of a difference. So really, I, I like using a red dot sight. So if, if you really want to go ahead and use an attachment like a red dot or a silencer, then um, don't hesitate to do that. It really won't make much of a difference. It does sway, but your chances of killing somebody long range are about the same. So... Go ahead, use an attachment if you want to. And um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye.